In this video, we're going to continue with our discussion on truth trees, but we're going to take a look at the conditional and biconditional and rules with those, as well as their negations. So by the end of the video, you should be able to show that the following sets of woofs are inconsistent using those new rules. So let's start with conditionals. Now, we've got to think about our truth tables again and the truth conditions. When is P arrow Q true? This is true when either P is false or Q is true. So this is the same thing as saying not P is true or Q is true. Therefore, if we have P arrow Q, we're going to get branching paths here. We're going to get a case, so two different paths. Either what's going to happen is not P is true or Q is true. So we can justify this. This is from one. We check that off and we call that conditional decomposition. So the conditional works a lot like an or in this case because of its truth conditions and how it's defined. What about the negated conditional? Well, again, let's think about this. When is not P arrow Q true? Well, that's true when P arrow Q is false. So when does that happen? That happens when P is true and when Q is false. And Q being false is another way of saying that not Q is true. So if we have not P arrow Q, we can decompose it by getting P and not Q. So we check that off and we say, okay, this is two, this is negated arrow decomposition and negated arrow decomposition. So remember, when we break things up, we're just getting them from the definition of truth there. So P is true, that's the same as P, not Q is true, that's the same as not Q. So those are our rules for the conditional. Let's talk about the rules for the biconditional. Well, okay, let's think about this, the biconditional. When is P if and only if Q true? Well, this is true if the value of P is the same thing as the value of Q. So either P and Q both equal one or P and Q both equal zero, which is another way of saying that not P and not Q is one. So when we take our rule, we're gonna get two branching paths to account for the or. We're gonna have one case with P being true and Q being true, and one case where not P being true and not Q being true. So we can justify this by saying from one, we did biconditional decomposition. So that comes from the truth values there. Now, what do you think happens when we negate the biconditional? Well, this is basically asking when is P if and only if Q false? Well, either P and not Q are true or not P and Q are true. So basically P and Q have to have different values which means one is true and the other is false, and vice versa. So when we do our branching paths for our truth tree, what we end up with is one situation where we have P true and not Q true, and another situation where not P is true and Q is true. So we can call this uh, from one, again, we should be checking these off. If we're doing full tree, definitely check these off. Uh, one uh, not if and only if decomposition, one not, if and only of decomposition. Okay, so these are all the rules we have for the conditional and the biconditional. Now let's see how these bad boys are used in a truth tree. So, because we're doing a truth tree, let's put on the line so that way everything looks nice and tidy when we do it. Okay, so with conditionals and biconditionals, we always get branching paths. So uh, it's not really gonna matter which one we pick first. So I'm going to pick uh, the first one to deal with first. So let's work with this one. Okay, so remember the biconditional does, it gives us two branching paths. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room than usual here. So we're either gonna have a case where A and B is true and C is true. That'll be lines four and lines five. Or we're gonna have a case where uh, A and B is false so that's saying not A and B is true, and then not C is true, or C is false. So this comes from what? How do we justify this? Well, this is one, these both come from one, and this is the biconditional decomposition. 
Okay. Uh, what I want to do now in line six and seven is take A and B here and decompose that. So if A and B is true, we know that A is true and B is true. So line six and seven, that comes from four, and this is and decomposition. Okay, at this point we can close the left branch because we have A and we have not A. So we have our contradiction there, therefore this branch can no longer continue because you can't have A true and not A true at the same time. So now we've got to deal with our right side. Okay, well what I want to do is I, hmm, let's think about this. We can either break down not A and B, or what we could do is we can continue to break down not C, arrow C, and see what happens. So I want to deal with two up here, just so that way all of our initial assumptions are taken care of. So remember what happens with our rule if we have A arrow B, this branches out into not A or B. So with this in mind, we're going to have a branching path here. On the left side, in fact, let's make sure that our rules and our lines don't really overlap with what we did on the left side. So we're going to either have not not C, or we're going to have C. Okay, so this is line 8, essentially, and this comes from 2, and we're doing the arrow decomposition. Now, on the right branch, we can close this, because we have not C and we have C. So that's a contradiction. So we close that one. Now we have not not C here. Remember what we can do with not not C is we can do double negation. So from line 8, we do double negation, and we've taken care of that one. Okay, now we have a contradiction. We have C and we have not C. Therefore, we can close this branch. And now that all of the branches have been closed, we know that this is a closed truth tree, so these well-formed formulas are inconsistent with each other, meaning that A and B, if and only if C, not C, arrow C, and not A, cannot all be true at the same time. Okay, now even though we haven't finished this one, we haven't finished not A and B, we don't have to continue, because all of our lines here, all of our branches have closed, so there's no... There's no where or no way for that to continue being decomposed. Uh, even if we did do not A and B before we did the not C, arrow C on top, uh, eventually we would do not C, arrow C, and we would end up closing all of our branches. So you have to be a little bit strategic about how you pick which ones you do first. It's hard to give you an exact recommendation or exact strategy for how to pick those. It mostly comes with experience and being really familiar with how these well-formed formulas work. And unfortunately, that's something that you just have to develop with time. There's no quick trick to that. Um, but the more you do these, the more practice you get with those. So as an exercise, I'd like you to try to do these two. In fact, let me show you what this tree looks like without the lines, so that way you can see its beauty, all with a black background. Beautiful, right? Okay, <laughs> let's go back to that first page. I want you to try doing the formula, the truth trees with these. So the first set has P and not R or P and not Q. P, R, O, Q, and R, that'll be inconsistent. And then the second one has some more biconditionals, so A if and only if B, B if and only if C, and then not A, R, O, C, and show those are inconsistent. If you have any questions, as always, post them in the comments below, and I will get to you when I can.